When someone says Ferrari, the first thing that will probably come to your mind is a supercar. One that looks pretty menacing, one with an amazing engine, and a damn good exhaust note, and maybe even lap times. But what if I tell you there's a Ferrari that can give you even more than that? And this car right beside me is proof of that. This is the new Ferrari Roma Spider, and it takes all of that into the mix and adds one more thing. Tons and tons of elegance. And in this video, we're gonna show you just what exactly this car can provide you. So now let's talk about the elegance aspect of this Ferrari Roma Spider. And let's start off here from the front. So the first thing that will really strike you here is just how beautiful this car looks. Look at the hood. You got three big bulges on it, which is very reminiscent of the Ferrari 250 GTO. Take a look at this grill. It's something that will remind you of a Pininfarina concept car from the 70s. These headlights absolutely sleek too, bisected by a DRL at the center. Now there is one slight issue with this vehicle, and that's if you look over here at the passenger side, there is a square that protrudes out of the bumper. This is a necessary evil because this is your sensors for your advanced driver assistance systems. I much rather have a beautiful car than having a weird bulge for the sensors, but we do live in the 21st century where safety is a paramount priority. Now let's take a look at the engine of this Ferrari Roma Spider. And what you're looking at here, if I can open this hood, is a 3.9 liter twin turbocharged glorious flat plane V8 engine making 621 horsepower in PS and 760 Newton meters of torque paired to an eight speed dual clutch transmission. Ferrari says you can go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in only 3.4 seconds. But what's probably even more impressive is the zero to 200 kilometers per hour figure, which Ferrari again says can be done in only 9.7 seconds. Now, for the rest of this vehicle, if you look at the profile of it, this is where it shows its true elegance. Let's start off with the wheels right here. 20 inches, two four five three five twenties in the front and two eight five three five twenties by the rear. These also get black painted calipers. These are not standard, by the way, because you do have to pay extra for these black painted calipers. But probably the most beautiful parts of this vehicle would include these fenders right here, which are just so long because of just how long your bonnet is. And finally, let's talk about what makes this car super special, being a spider. Now, what's amazing about the Roma Spider is that despite it having this convertible top, once closed, it still follows the shape. It still follows the silhouette of the Roma Coupe, which from afar makes this car not even look like a convertible. And for some people, they might want to stand out and be seen immediately driving a convertible. But can we really argue with the fact that in terms of looks, coupes look just a little bit better? Now for the rear of the Roma Spider, what you'll see here is a very yacht-like design. Now, if you look at the fabric they used on this spider top, it really does remind you of the deck that you will find on a yacht, at least the patterns that it has on it. And I also really love how there are those, just those two headrests right there that kind of just adds to that effect. Now, for the rear, it's another very elegant looking vehicle. You have a small deck lid spoiler, this tiny wing that pops out when needed, when cornering above a certain speed, usually at around 100 kilometers per hour. You have beautiful twin dual tail lamps, so giving you a total of quad tail lamps right here, which is complemented by your quad exhausts as well. Now, for your trunk over here, uh, it's not the most usable in terms of trunk spaces because that soft top needs to have a place to hide into. So no, you can totally forget about bringing golf bags in this one, but a couple of soft bags will definitely work over here. And one more cool thing, if you look at this plate on the inner side of your trunk, this is where your option lists are listed. Now, when you close this trunk back down, another cool feature, it has a soft close vacuum function. Now let's step inside the interior of the Ferrari Roma Spider, and this is probably the last time we'll be able to touch this vehicle, so now let's check the door thud. 
excellent sounding door set. Now, to start of this vehicle, it's a little bit quirky. So you just have this one small haptic button by the middle of the steering wheel, which if you press, fires up that glorious 3.9 liter V8. And since we do have this soft top, we might as well just rev bomb it just a little bit. And doesn't that just sound amazing? Okay. Now, this interior, unfortunately, unlike the exterior, it's not as elegant looking. I mean, sure, it still is, but it just isn't as smooth. It's a little bit too convoluted with lots of these buttons. Nonetheless, you can easily tell that you are inside an expensive, luxurious Ferrari. Now, the steering wheel, that is clad in excellent Italian leather. You do have your turn signals mounted on the steering wheel itself. What you would really like though is this switch by the center of the steering wheel. Now, Ferrari calls this the Manettino switch and you have a couple of driving modes over here. You have comfort, you have sport, you have race and if you push it in, it even activates your adaptive dampers to give you just a little bit more comfort in this grand touring beauty. Now, as mentioned, you do get a digital instrument cluster that is super easy to read. This is also where you will find your reverse camera. This center infotainment screen, it's laid out in a portrait setup. This is mostly where you will be controlling your AC system. And right below that are these uh, buttons. Now, you might think that this is for your gear selector, right? But it isn't. Well, partly. What you have here is only the ability to choose between automatic, manual launch mode and reverse now you're gonna ask me how are you gonna put this car into drive well you simply hit your right massive paddle shifter while you step on the brake and that activates your first gear you are now in drive one put it in neutral you hit both paddles and hold it down at the same time how do you put this car into park well you simply turn off the vehicle turns on your electronic parking brake and calls it a day that's how very italian this car is now the other bits and pieces about this interior that is just super cool include this like tiny screen for your passenger they can control your audio settings over there and you can even look at your performance figures over there it is pretty cool the rest of the leather in this is just super supple and now for the best part about this interior is this button by the center, which if you just hold up, you can now raise or lower this convertible top in only 13.5 seconds. And I can assure you, this is about as good as it gets because this uses five layers of fabric that keeps you well insulated here on the inside. So now we drive the Ferrari Roma Spider. And driving this car, I thought it's gonna be a very intimidating vehicle because I have driven the likes of the GT3 and the GT3 RS, and those cars kind of intimidated me at first. But for this one, it feels like a very familiar vehicle. It feels like a very subdued vehicle. And I don't mean that in a bad way. When you want this car to hustle, it will definitely hustle. And the sound of that V8 engine as you downshift, it's just amazing. It doesn't have all the roar and the gnarly sound of a V8 or a V12 naturally aspirated engine, but that is what we do have to work with nowadays. And is it a bummer? Definitely not. All the power, 621 horsepower, 760 newton meters of torque, you feel every bit of it. Is there turbo delay? Yes, just a tad bit, but it will never get in the way of the driving experience. The handling of this vehicle too, it's excellent. At least for the Ferrari Roma Coupe, you have a 50-50 weight distribution. For this one, you have a 52-48 split. Do you really feel it? I would say that yes, you would feel that the rear is just a little bit heavier, but does it really take away too much from the driving experience? Does it make it a little less boring? Not so, not at all even. This is just an amazing car to drive. Now, the steering is something that I found to be a little bit too light, but it is super quick. So for those who are so used to driving fast vehicles or if you're into motorsports like, you know, F1 and all that, you're going to feel right at home with extremely quick steering of the Ferrari Roma Spider. But also since it is super light, once you are driving it as a Grand Tour, as a daily vehicle, as a weekend vehicle, you don't even feel like you're driving a supercar, but in a good way. You don't feel fatigued as you drive this vehicle. It just is so relaxing. And what I love the most about these convertible vehicles, it's like you have two cars in one. On one hand, with the top uh, up right here, it feels like a very refined vehicle. It truly is a Grand Tour. You even have ventilated seats over here. But as you just switch, as you just press this switch, 
it just transforms into this very youthful, joyous, exciting, open top car. And if you're wondering, will it destroy your hairdo? Well, it won't. Because as you can see, I've already deployed that rear diffuser there. And there is absolutely no draft in here. It doesn't mess my hair too much. This car simply is excellent. You really do get two amazing cars in one package. Now, before we end this video, I also want to talk about the whole grand touring aspect of this elegant machine. And that's because you might also think that it's going to ride extremely harshly, but it doesn't. You don't even have to put this car into comfort mode. You can leave it even in the race mode or the sport mode. You can even turn off your electronic stability control. Yet, it rides pretty well. But just in case you still find it a little bit too stiff, you simply press this manatino button and it'll activate your adaptive dampers which makes it a lot softer than it already is without compromising too much of your handling. It simply is that good. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. I absolutely love the Ferrari Roma Spider and I can finally understand what people mean when they drive Ferraris and how it's very emotion invoking. It truly is. You feel one with the car. This is simply driving excellence at its finest. This Ferrari Roma Spider can be had for as low as 29 million and 500,000 pesos. Now, as tested, this costs 33 million and 500,000 pesos. And the option list goes more than that. I mean, it is through the roof. It is a Ferrari after all. But if you do have that amount of money to spend, will buying one of these cars make you happy? I absolutely think so. Because this car is not just a point A to point B means of transportation. This truly is a piece of art on wheels.